What's up, YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And on today's video, I'm gonna share with you my everyday carry for 2021. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern, discussing various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe, tap the notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends like Cecil Johnson, salute. Now, hands down, one of my favorite video topics to do every year is my everyday carry. And on top of that, I get constant and consistent requests to know what's in my EDC. So once again, here we are. But this time, the 2021 edition. On today's video, I'm gonna share with you some old things, but a bunch of new things I carry every day. And not only am I gonna share with you what's in my EDC, I want you to share with me in the comment section what's in your everyday carry. So without any further delay, let's hop right into my EDC for 2021. Now we're gonna start off with something that's definitely an essential of my everyday carry and something I rarely leave the house without, a nice pair of shades. Now I own several pairs of sunglasses, but my go-to since around last summer are definitely these Ray-Ban cockpit models. What I like about these shades from Ray-Ban, they're a modern take on their classic aviator. Now, usually with a lot of aviator shades, the lens will dominate your face. They'll be too big. These are a little bit more slimline. These are a little bit more fashion forward with the less dominating lens. I love that. But they're still made with that great Ray-Ban quality. They have that classic teardrop shape with laser cut metal, which gives you a nice, thin, lightweight frame. You'll see me rocking these throughout the year in 2021. You gotta have a nice pair of sunglasses in your everyday carry, I highly recommend these Ray-Ban cockpit. Now next up, we have the absolute latest addition to my everyday carry. In fact, I've only had this for around a week or so, maybe less, my brand new 2020 MacBook Pro. Now throughout my YouTube journey, I've been using my 2015 MacBook Pro and it served me extremely well, but it definitely was time to update. One, it was kind of slow and didn't have enough memory to do everything I needed to do. Hence, last week, I grabbed this, my Space Gray MacBook Pro 2020. Now, this comes with the new Apple M1 chip, and I found performance-wise, it's super quick. Now, as opposed to my MacBook from 2015, that one only had 128 gigs. This one, 512. Definitely can get a lot more done, especially my most important task, editing my YouTube videos for you guys on Final Cut Pro. Now, like I said, I've only had it for about a week or so, but I'm definitely enjoying it. I'll give you an update on how well it's working for me in the next few months or so. Now, of course, with all the things the modern man transports in his everyday carry, you're gonna need a bag. And I prefer one that's tough, roomy, durable, and stylish. Like the one we have here from today's video sponsor, Nutsack Bags, with their Jones 13 leather model. Let me tell you how they got that catchy name. The founders were told they were nuts to try to make a bag here in the USA without cheap outsourced products. Get it, nuts, bag, sack, nutsack. But despite those warnings, they did it anyway. They manufacture their bags in the USA. Each one is hand sewn with a cool, rugged aesthetic, and they've developed a great reputation for making quality bags. I've been aware of nutsack for a few years, but I've known them for their wax canvas bag. But the bag I'm using for my everyday carry, it's the bag nutsack always wanted to make a premium all leather bag. And that's exactly what they accomplished with this Jones 13. They wanted the bag to be beautiful, but also tough and rugged. A great premium all leather satchel. And I wholeheartedly believe they definitely achieved their goal. Look at this beautiful ox blood leather, a full grain Madone leather. Leather has been vegetable retanned and drug impregnated with oil and finished with hot wax to enhance pull up healing and patina. And the bag's been equipped with this great antique brass hardware for a great rugged touch. 13 inch bag that will easily accommodate your 13 inch laptop like my MacBook Pro, has several compartments, a zip pocket, and is lined in khaki canvas. I absolutely love this bag and look forward to carrying it throughout 2021. Now, not only did Nutsack Bag sponsor today's video, they're hooking Nostalgy family members up with a discount. All you have to use is code SOG at checkout for $10 off your order, $100 or more, plus free shipping. 
Don't hesitate to hit that link in the description and pick up a great hand-sewn American-made bag from Nutsack. Now, earlier I showed you my latest pickup, my 2020 MacBook Pro, but I'm here to tell you, I don't just buy things just because they're new. If I have something that's working, I'll stick to it. Case in point, I'm rocking my iPhone 8. Now, of course, I've had this iPhone 8 since 2017, but it serves my purposes. I'm not one who really favors those huge phones most of you guys like. I like a smaller phone that easily slips in my pocket, and it has all the features I need, despite how much I get teased by my friends and family. It's dust resistant, and it's the first water resistant iPhone, and I believe it was the first iPhone that you could wirelessly charge. And the great thing about it, I have a wireless charger in my car that only accommodates a smaller phone like this one. Jokes on you, friends and family. Now, I have no problem updating my phone if I need to, but if something is older but it still works, like me, I'm gonna stick with an OG like my OG iPhone 8. Now, if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, one of the things I'm always recommending you guys do is to read more. I'm someone who's been a voracious reader my whole life and I believe it's benefited me in numerous ways. And the latest book I'm reading, and I usually take a book everywhere I go, is this one I was sent by my good friend Antonio from Real Men Real Style. Great guy. It's called The Wealthy Gardener by John Sephora. Subtitled Lessons on Prosperity Between Father and Son. I just started it, but I love it. What the book is about. There's a father who's financially independent that wants to impart some jewels to his son. And how he chooses to do that they have a weekly meeting, but he gives these lessons through parables. So it's kind of a mix between fiction and nonfiction. Financial literacy is something that's very important. I think we should teach it more in our schools. And I definitely will be reading this book to help me with my financial literacy and to help me pass it on to my kids. Absolutely love this book so far. Highly recommend it. I take a book everywhere I go. A great one, The Wealthy Gardener by John Sephora. Now, if you're a super busy person like me, but you're someone who likes to plan and tries to attain goals and has a bunch of them stirring at the same time, you need to write them down. And something I've been using lately, a gift from this past year, is this high performance planner. It's a combination planner and journal. What I like about this planner slash journal, it helps you strategize your life via prompts, self-assessments, and calendars. And the techniques used in here are scientifically based. Now, when they made this planner, they studied the habits of high-performance individuals, paying close attention on what they did to increase their productivity to set and meet their goals. Now, I've just recently started using this high-performance planner, but I definitely plan on using it throughout 2021. Write down your goals and your strategies. Don't just try to keep them up here. Writing them out makes them more real and helps you attain them. Now, of course, if you're going to be writing down your goals, you're going to need a pen. And the pen I've been using every day for the last 20 years is something I gifted myself when I first got out of grad school. My trusty Mont Blanc Meister stuff. Absolutely love this pen. Some things are worth treating yourself to. Now what you get with this Meister stuff, it's a platinum coated classic ballpoint pen. The cap and barrel are crafted in black precious resin and is inlaid with the white Mont Blanc emblem. And on top of that, an extra detail I love is the Mont Blanc Meister stuff wrapped around and imprinted here. Of course, Mont Blanc are synonymous with luxury pen. I think it's something every guy should aspire to own one day. I've loved having mine for 20 years, and I'll be carrying it every day, at least another 20. Now, of course, a prerequisite for everybody's everyday carry, you gotta have a wallet. And the wallet I've been using over the last year, and I definitely can see myself using it for years to come, is this Anson Calder card wallet. Nowadays, I highly recommend a slimmer wallet as possible. Nowadays, you don't need the old school wallet your grandfather used to carry stuffed to the gills. Carry something sleek and silk like this from Anson Calder. What I love about this one is extra slim line, about an eighth of an inch thick, but it has three pockets, enough for all my cards and some cash, even though I rarely carry cash. On top of that, it's beautiful and well-made. It's crafted from luxurious French calfskin and is finished with burnished edges. And what I really love about this wallet is the patented cutout. It is extremely easy for you to grab the card that you need. For our modern times where most of us are only carrying a card or two, I definitely recommend a slim streamlined wallet, one that easily slips in your front pocket. A great high quality choice is Anson Calder Card Wallet. Okay, so there you have it. My everyday carry for 2021. Make sure you let me know in the comment section what's in your EDC. 
Once again, I wanna to thank today's video sponsor, Nutsack Bags. Make sure you hit that link in the description and use code SOG for $10 off your $100 purchase. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. Helps the channel to grow. And of course, tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos released every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll check you out the next time.